you want to show them your new cast? <laughs> it might be easier if you show it this way. Like that? Is <laughs> that what you wanted? <laughs> That's a thumbnail right there. I had surgery. We'll see that video soon. So, um, while she's down for the count, we might as well share some embarrassing stories about ourselves and maybe each other. Yes. Let's start off strong. Okay. Okay. When I was younger, in middle school, probably from 6th hmm. grade to 8th grade, I had a crush on the same boy throughout all of it, which was my <laughs> first mistake. <laughs> my favorite story. <laughs> Anyways, so for like two or three years, we worked at the same little kid summer camp together as like junior counselors or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I had made a pact at the beginning of my eighth grade year. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna confess my true feelings at some point this year. Like, like Jess, you need to tell this man because you don't know unless you talk to him. I, I, I've never had a conversation <laughs> You don't know than, unless you talk to him, literally. I, I've never had a conversation longer than two minutes with him end of summer um last day i'm like okay this is it you have to do it i wait till the very end of the day right when everyone <laughs> is getting into their cars and leaving he's getting into his car with his little sister and i follow them out. oh my god she was there too yes <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't know that part. I just i'm like i just yell his name i'm probably standing like 15 feet away from him and i just go i thank you and then, and then, without, without skipping a beat, just sprints. <laughs> without, without giving him a second to respond, I just run. I just <laughs> run. I wasn't getting the immediate fairy tale ending that I was hoping I would. So I just, I ran. Alright, your turn. This is one that has become a running joke with multiple people because she told people. Um, <laughs> so, we were leaving my house. And between my house and her house, there's this really, really curvy spot. Like, I live on the world's curviest road, and I'm talking, this part of the road does this. And, um, I'm in her little car, we're driving around that corner, and this Jeep comes hustling. And I'm talking, the Jeep is, like, booking it around the thing. And full speed. Full speed ahead. They were using the whole speedometer they paid for. Um, and they, <laughs> the car starts to tip in the direction that we're in. Like, us, other car, the other car was doing this. And, uh, you know, scary. And for some <laughs> reason, you just go, <laughs> for some reason, um, instead of having a normal human like response. Like, started to roll. Yeah. And instead of her being like, oh my god, or ah, or whatever, in turn she said, <laughs> I go, we do, we do. So she starts making siren noises. Siren sounds, instead of having a normal reaction. And I don't know why to this day, I it just she left was, my mouth. She might have just been trying to signal help. <laughs> I don't know. Your turn. <laughs> I was at work maybe two or three months ago. And, you know, working a retail job, being like, Oh, hey, can I help you with anything? You need a dressing room? Blah, blah, blah. This guy comes in <laughs> in a cowboy hat. He's probably... You know, an inch shorter than me, 5'5". Five five. He's got, like, giant. Don't ask like a 5'5 five five is an inch shorter than me. Oh, I'm at 5'4". I'm sorry. 5'4". <laughs> Don't lie to them. <laughs> I, I want to be tall so bad. Okay, he comes in. He's maybe an inch shorter than me. He's 5'4". He has these huge blue eyes and a cowboy hat. Like, a huge cowboy hat. Probably bigger than he is. I walk up to him, I'm like... Howdy. <laughs> That's what I led with. Are you serious? Yes, it oh. is. <laughs> That's a story in itself. But it gets so much worse. <laughs> so much worse. <laughs> he stares deep into my soul with his big, huge, blue cowboy eyes and goes, Yeah, darling, how are you? Come <laughs> on! <laughs> and I'm like, I'm great. I love that brand you got in your hands. Do you need a dressing room? And he goes, I I actually heard that if you go to one of their stores and get a guitar and play a song for one of their employees, you get a 
good discount. Do you guys honor that? And I said, keep in mind, this is complete BS. It's not real. I didn't, I didn't know that it was BS at the time. It was completely fake. This dude just somehow came up with that on the spot. So I, I go, um, I don't know. Let me go ask my <laughs> manager. And I explain what happened and they go, he wants to serenade you. Oh my God. And I said, what do I tell him? And so we Google it. We can't find anything on it. I know that it's not it's real. It's obviously not real. And he goes, if he can find a guitar and sing you a song, we'll sell it to him at cost. Oh and I said, do I need to go back there and tell him? And he goes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I go over there and tell him. We also just so happen to work like right next to a guitar center. Yeah, it's literally like a So I go back there and I'm like, hey, um... We can honor it. I hate that we can. And he's like, so all I have to do is go over there, buy a guitar, and sing you a song. And I said, yeah, I guess so. Like, the guitar is gonna be more expensive than just paying for the track. Yeah. And he just goes, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. Puts the shirt down and walks out. Never saw the man again. I have another retail story. You want me to rapid fire? Sure. Okay, this was probably... This was a week before this happened, actually, oh, the yeah. past one. So, it's, I'm, I'm helping out this son, he's about, he's about our age, he's maybe a year older, and his mom, and they're trying to get him a bunch of new clothes, and so, I, you know, get him set up with a dressing room and everything, and, um, you know, close the door, turn around, his mom is like, oh, can you hand him this? I want to see him try this on. And I'm like, oh, yeah. totally. I knock on the door. I'm like, hey, man, hey, bud, your mom wants you to try this on. And he goes, okay, just open the door up. I, I don't think anything of it because I literally had shut the door two seconds ago. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe he's kicked his shoes off, okay? Yeah. I open the door. He is standing buck naked, just some, just some hands. I thought he had boxers on. He, he had some, he, he, and so, <laughs> and so I just, I just go, that's so much worse. And he takes Are it and shut the door. Is? I just told him it was boxers because I didn't want to get in trouble. But you weren't going to get in trouble. Oh my gosh. Your turn. So we went to a Cardinals game for my brother's 11th birthday. They like, went to St. Louis, all the good things, you know, hung out, saw the arch, that fun stuff. And this still keeps me up at night sometimes, but um, they were giving out t-shirts to people <laughs> at the gate if they were over 16. Like, free t-shirt. And my dad gives me like a little nudge. You have it? This is the t-shirt they were giving. <laughs> Um, so my dad gives me a little nudge and he's like, you're 16. I was not, I was 13. Um, yeah, so I was like, I'm, okay, yeah, I'm 16, I'm 16. And she's handing, she hands one to my dad, she hands one to my mom, and then she, I, I go, oh, I'm 16, and she goes, looks me up and down, fully skeptical, and she goes, I mean, you could have passed for it. You were, you were fully developed. <laughs> at that point. You she blossomed just, ahead. In she life. just goes, What year were you born? And you know, you would think that I could take my birth year and add three to it. I, I panicked. And I just go, uh, and I turn and I go, Dad, what year was I born? <laughs> and he grabs my arm and goes, Just forget it. And we walk away. And this woman stared so deep into my soul with just the most disdained look. Another eighth grade story. Eighth grade was a rough year for me. Yeah. I want to branch out, want to make new friends. I start becoming friends with this one boy. And I'm thinking, this is great. I finally have a friend that's a boy. Because I've only <laughs> had friends that were girls. And... So I'm like, yay, whatever. And then, you know, everyone's like, oh my gosh, you guys are becoming friends. You're in love. You're in love. <laughs> and I'm like, N absolutely not. Furthest thing from it. No. 
Ew, gross. No. No. Not interested. Meh. Yeah. She said, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so everyone's floating rumors around. The thing that she didn't realize at this point either, though, was that this boy had a massive crush on her. And I tried to tell her that even and was like, he likes you. And she's like, no, he doesn't. And I'm like, no, but he likes you. And she's like, no, he doesn't. We're just friends. And everything. And it's like, the entire grade was basically like, shipping the two of you together because this boy was like in love with Had you. no idea. No idea. Anywho, um, we get into our reading class in eighth grade, and me and Haley are sitting next to each other, are having independent reading time, because she's calling up people, talking about grades, whatever, I don't know what she was actually doing, but we anyways. an essay, and she was going over it with all of us. And so, you know, there's people scattered on the floor, on the carpet, on, in chairs, so People can be going wherever they want, free, flying. So, how her room is set up, so there's her desk here, all of the chairs here, and then a carpet with mm -hmm. a bunch of shelves. So, this boy that I was friends with is sitting on the carpet. So, when it's my turn, I have to walk from my desk through the little hallway that she has, across the carpet, and then to her desk. And the boy that was sitting on the carpet next to my friend trips me and I just fall. throws a little foot out throws a foot out trips me um and the drama everybody's like <gasps> this is eighth grade so not only do I fall which is embarrassing enough for an eighth grader when everybody's watching you walk somewhere but I fall on my friend and not only do I fall on my friend I get a handful of of she, eighth grader crotch. She, and so I stand up. I have a little bit of carpet burn on my knee, which is fine. But I'm like... He was so sweet about it, too, though. He's like, are you okay? He's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, right, right. I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are, are you okay? And so we're in eighth grade, so this boy, like, you know, gets up and, like, goes to the bathroom for a minute after and all that stuff. So. I'm like, are you, are you okay? <laughs> and, um, which, you know, only makes matters worse. <laughs> and so, you know, I just quickly shuffle over to the teacher's desk and just sit down and um she you know pulls out the thing and she just she just says I'm just gonna give you a minute because everybody's screaming and laughing and hooting and hollering and all this kind of stuff and I'm sitting there like this and, and she's I just crying I have tears just streaming down my face I'm so embarrassed I'm like sitting there looking at the teacher and I'm like okay and she just goes <laughs> Haley's had this foot injury for four months now. Four months. Yeah. So it all started... Well, not foot, but ankle. But ankle. Yeah. So it all started way back when, and it wasn't even this foot. No. It wasn't was her right one. It was her left one. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I, so, it fractured... Uh, not fractured. I, I sprained this one. We were about to go We're, we're going to get to it. We're, I'm going to get to it. So we're, we're getting ready to go oh on our God. cruise, all right? Haley wakes up one beautiful bright morning, oh my God. steps out of bed, gets ready, you know, wanders into the bathroom, wanders into the bathroom, walking so effortlessly and confidently that she doesn't even notice on the floor is her deodorant that she knocked over the night before. She just forgot to pick up. She slips, falls, and sprains her ankle <laughs> because she slipped on deodorant. Mm -hmm. And any time for the next month, someone says, "Oh." What'd you do to your ankle? She has to say, I slipped, I slipped on, on my deodorant. My deodorant. <laughs> so, I feel like I should specify. So, we're going to bleed this gonna... one into the next one. Okay, so, hurt that one. Yeah. Well, that one was hurt. Went on a work trip. Slipped and fell. Hurt this one. Both of them were hurt. And then we have people from our job coming over and it's like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, she's fine. I said every single one of them. She away. did. She sent away like 10 people while I'm sitting there fighting for my life and I needed help. <laughs> there were so many concerned people and I just go, no, she's good. She was like, no, 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 she's good. And this whole time I want to I don't think you spoke for like 20 minutes. I don't think I did. I was not I was just standing there like walking back and forth and people come up and be like, is she okay? And you're just laid down on the ground. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Go watch other videos. Subscribe.
uh, to comment down below your embarrassing stories or don't. Do what you feel like.